Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to do an update on my Denifrips Ares 2 DAC review. I'm doing this from a different location and some people are working in the house so I can't speak too loudly. But basically a few days ago I did some experimenting with the oversampling mode that you can easily put the Ares 2 into and with the two filters that are uh, you can choose from once you have it in oversampling mode. And let me tell you, it is even better, significantly better than uh, the way I had heard it when I reviewed it. So I'm going to cut away and uh, show you how to do that so you can get the most out of your Denifrips Aries too. All right, enjoy. Here's the Aries 2 plugged in with my phone connected to the USB input. If I press mute and then optical 1, you see as I keep pressing optical 1, the light turns on and off, the optical 1 light. For oversampling, you want it off. There. Now it's in oversampling mode. And if you wait five seconds, it'll retain that in non-volatile memory, meaning if I turn the power of the unit off, it'll still remember that I had it in oversampling mode. Now the next thing is to select whether I want the slow or fast filter. In my opinion, the slow filter sounds better, and that's kind of the whole reason you do oversampling in the first place is so you don't need such a steep filter that can cause a lot of sonic problems. So you do the same thing, only I'm going to use this OPT2 button here. So I'll press mute, and then as I press OPT2, you see the light LED toggles on and off. And if I want the slow filter, I want to leave it in the position with the light on, wait five seconds, there, it cleared that the light's up here, so it's all set. Now it's in oversampling mode with the slow filter, and that's the way this unit sounds the best, in my opinion. So what you'll notice now is a lot more detail and uh, sharpness to small transients. So things like, uh, if you listen to Jazz at the Pawn Shop, which is a... Uh, audiophile warhorse recording, you'll hear a lot more detail and background uh, noises in a good way. You'll notice um, music is much more coherent, so on a song like um, Chicago's Does Anybody Really Know What Time It Is? with the big band uh, crescendos, they come in in a more unified, impactful way that makes it, it's a much more energetic listen. Uh, the bass gets a lot clearer and better. In general, it's much easier to follow each of the instruments. So even a recording that's not very good, like uh, Kid Charlemagne, it's a Steely Dan song. It's really easy to follow the bass line, for example, through the whole song, which is pretty cool. So you'll hear a lot of improvements and it's well worth doing. It doesn't cost anything. It gets the most out of the unit. I don't know why they don't make this the factory default setting, but they don't. Maybe there's a good reason. In any event, it just takes a minute to set it up like this. You should really hear um, quite marked improvements.